right, I just wanna do a quick video. Me and Tony figured it out within about, what, 20 minutes? Yeah. Um, I was overheating today. Um, temp light came on twice. Um, it takes a while with the Grizzly. It's a single cylinder engine. Doesn't put out a lot of heat like the twin cylinders do, but. So, at first I, I went down and grabbed my fan. And my fan was, was stiff. Like, I was like, uh-oh. There was a bunch of gunk in here. It wasn't spinning. Oh, I, I got it so you can kind of see it moving in, in the light there now. So I was up at the land in the middle of the woods. I was doing that and I got the spin. It still wouldn't turn on. So I was like, okay, whatever. Let it cool down. We rode for a little bit longer. Loaded the machines up. Um, first thing I did when I got home was I, I grabbed a 12 volt battery, unplugged the connector for the fan and just hooked 12 volt right to it. Fan started right up. No issues. I was like, okay. So then I'm like, got on YouTube, I started doing some video watching. Most guys will have three relays right here. I only got two. Well, the front one that's supposed to be on this tab right here is supposed to be your fan relay, supposedly. So I'm like, well, that's weird. I don't got a fan relay. Number the only two relays I really have. There's nothing else underneath here. Um... So I was like, okay, but before that, I did check the fuse box. Pop this little cover off, they're numbered. Let me just get off here for you. You can see they're all listed here. Well, the third one in, this 20 amp fuse right here, is the fuse for the uh, fan. That fuse was good, not blown, power both sides of it. So then, I went down to, let me grab my light here. <coughs> connector right there. Let's see if I can get the light to hold here. This connector goes on right right there. This is the thermostat. This is what senses the heat and it triggers the triggers the fan to turn on. Well, I lost my paper clip. Well, wherever it went, I shoved the paper clip in both sides of this just to jump it so it would be triggering, you know, the fan the entire time. Well, when you do that, when you turn your key on, your check engine light and your temp light will stay on because it's sensing that you're overheating. And then something's not right, you know, there's anything can trigger a check engine light. Soon as I started the engine, fan turned on right away. So, that makes me think that it is this little sensor right there. So, instead of ordering a $150 fan, I might just have to order, of course, I didn't even look at that sensor yet. It might be a $100 sensor. It's not? Well, I All right. buy it right now. But, I mean, this is the first, first major breakdown. That's not even major. First breakdown I had in a while with the Grizz, so. But, so I just thought I'd do a quick video if, if your fan's not turning on. Uh, a couple quick things to look at. A, put power to your fan right away. If that checks out, check your fuse. Actually, your fuse is probably easier because that plug's a kind of a bitch to get off. Check your fuse first, then check your fan. And if you have a relay here, check that. But, but I mean, but in order to know that, that relay's bad, um, if you jump this and it still doesn't turn on, you know your, your relay's bad. And these relays can either go bad just like that or they can be weak or they'll intermittently shut off, turn on, because they're an electrical ma uh, electromagnet uh, fuse, or not fuse, relay in here. So sometimes the magnet can get weak and you get moisture and water and all that good stuff in there. You know how that goes. So when you mud ride, it's, you have more breakdowns than a, than a you know, a, a railroad grade warrior. So I just thought I'd give you a little video on that. I'm gonna get that uh, sensor ordered up. Should be a quick little change. So thanks for watching.